welcome to part three or part four of uh, repairing the dash panel. So before Christmas or long before Christmas, um, I repaired this part of the hole to make it so it was square again. And now the idea is, is that we're going to use some super glue to try to sort of like reinforce it a little bit because with this being plastic putty, it has a tendency to not adhere properly to the plastic and it can snap. Um, for the minute it isn't going anywhere, but I prefer to reinforce it anyway with some of this, this super glue. So we'll give that a go. Make sure you wear gloves, obviously, because I don't want to stick my fingers together or to the, um, the front dash panel. That would not be fun. The idea is to, there's a hole here that I couldn't fill with the putty and there's a crack as well. Uh, in fact, there's cracks all along here and those are all going to need to be reinforced. So, I don't know whether I'll need to, looks like I don't need to unblock anything. So, we'll give it, let's give it a test try on the crack and see if it comes out as it should. Does that mean you need to undo that? You can tell that I'm getting a bit old, can't you? Apicata guta gut. There's nothing coming out at all. So guta gut is drop by drop in English. Mode emploi, how to use. That's the premier utilisation. Vis ensemble. Bouchon, en bout. Ah, okay. So, seems I need to. Do this right up. So, uh, okay, you have to do it right up, tight, and that pushes down the the grey part there. And then you normally should have glue coming out. So we'll soon see. I don't want to get it on my clothes. Ah, oh, idiot! There we go. It's coming out now. Good. So I thought it'd be better to sit a bit more out in the light so I can actually see what I'm doing. So this hasn't lasted very long. Uh, I've just managed to do one, barely one side of the uh, dash panel with it. And you think there's more in there than there actually is, but I think most of it's the mechanism to squeeze it out. So that's a bit of a con, really. Couldn't find my other tube of super glue, so I found this is called Col um, Cyano. So Cyano, uh, I hope it's not cyanide. And it says that you can glue ceramic, plastic, and rubber with it. So it could be a cheap version of super glue. So we'll, we'll give it a try. What's more, you've got a nice little, what looks like um, it's a pseudo DS2CV on it. Kind of weird. That looks very strange. I like it, actually. I quite like the design of that. It's cute. I've still seen opening this one, a um, different way of opening it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick a bit, it's a bit it seems to be a bit watery compared to the other glue. Um, I'm going to stick a bit sort of, ooh, it is watery, it's going everywhere. Not going where I want it to go. That's useful. It's running for the hills down the plastic. I think I have to turn this round the other way round so I can glue it without the glue draining away. And it doesn't really help that I've got rubber gloves. I don't know what I've done with them, but I've used them for something and it's just made them all tacky and sticky. So I think this is going to be a bit better. I've got it the other way around on my lap and hopefully the glue's not going to go too far away. So if I can actually move my phone. Oh god, this is it's like water. Well, this is just not very useful, is it? We can only try our best, can't we? I haven't got anything else to use. It's strange because it's probably because it's cold, it's starting to go a little bit. It's drying quite quickly, actually. So we've just got a, a few cracks on this side, but nothing too serious. It's just tiny, tiny crack there. 
hopefully that's not going to go anywhere. At least if it's water, it won't leave marks everywhere. I think that'll do for that side. There's plenty on there, seeping into the into the crack there. So what I'm going to do eventually is uh, I'm going to um, I've got some rubber uh, that I've bought. Uh, I'm going to put down here probably on this side and on the inside of if I can just show you uh, on the inside of this panel just to try to cushion the um, the pressure from the, the screws the bolts uh, holding it on because uh, I don't want it to crack again and because obviously it vibrates the whole van vibrates a lot when you're at standstill so um, I'm using I'm going to be using some rubber on the dash panel in other places as well to try to um, to cushion the this vibration so that's the the rubber I've bought and uh, I'll put that to size so that's gonna be the next stage really so we'll leave all that to dry on that side and down here and if I need to put some more on then I will do but um, yeah um, I'll leave that to dry and then we'll crack on the next stage another day. Eww. That is serious mould. Um, yeah, I haven't actually noticed that. Uh, now I have. So something needs to be done about um, putting, finding a solution to try and keep the cab dry during the winter because there's a little bit of water down there near my repair and that seems to have gone a bit strange but uh, yeah so when uh, we left off things uh, I don't know how, how long ago it was now but um, I shall put the date down here so we had the the cracks on the holes here before but I thought it was actually cracked more than that so I, I looked this morning and it was minus one this morning and um, I think it was just the glue that I've put and the varnish that I've put on here that was cracking and not the actual plastic but it's a nice big crack here so I think the the idea of me um, using rubber to reinforce all this might work we'll see so one job's going to be um, filing this here because since putting the, the varnish on top of this putty, it seems to have thickened the the gap, made the gap smaller uh, in the hole here. So I'm going to either have to file this side or that side because the, the square bolt won't actually fit. So the idea is that I'm going to do a, a template to, to create um, a rubber barrier on the side of the panel. So if I just bring you down around here, uh, sorry for the shaky camera work. So the idea is to have some rubber, a strip of rubber down here over these holes. Well, obviously with the hole in the rubber. And then coming down here, or narrow a little bit here, all the way down to the, the edge of the mudguard. And the same the other side uh, with a metal washer either side. The bolt going through and then a bodywork nut on the inside um, hopefully having the washer on the rubber will clamp the panels together and avoid getting too much of this cracking lock we can sort of live in hope and hopefully that will be the solution so now we've got the template um, it doesn't really matter which way around it's going to go uh, i'm going to do four of these and that's where the it's basically where the square hole goes in the the bumper and these holes I will use I bought some um, hole punches they're basically thin pieces of metal with a sharp round hole at the end that you bang on the end with a hammer I think they're usually used for belts and leather work so before doing the the rubber strips on the side uh, I've just sanded this bottom part of the square hole because the plastic here is actually easier to sand 
burnt sanding the epoxy and now I can fit that in and it's perfect so that's one one job done the other side is fine and uh, yeah time to get on with as I said before the rubber strips that's the rubber and a template so I'm going to try to create four of these so I've got a clue what I'm doing but uh, get the, the rubber all I'm going to try to do is see if I can make a mark through the paper yeah it doesn't really show up very well so I think all I have to do is I'll have to cut this out so that I can actually draw onto the rubber and get some sort of trace to cut around with the with a knife. Support. Mega. Red. Van. Hill. So that's the template cut out. And that's the case of just drawing around it. Let's see what I'm doing. So I think that should be it, I hope. Whoops. This, of course I need to mark where the holes are going to go. It's probably not marking much. Don't know where that's going to... Oh good, it's showing up quite well. So you can see where the holes are. Just about well, I can see where the holes are. I don't think you can on the, the camera. So that's a case of uh, just marking that with a pen so I can see it a bit better. And then cutting it out with a knife. Surprisingly easy to cut through. And there we go. So you can see the hold up to the light and see where the holes are going to go. So the idea now is to use that as a template to do the others because it'll be easier to draw around that than drawing with a bit of paper. So there we've got three more drawn out and I just need to cut them out now. So there we've got all four cut out. Need to mark the holes from the this template onto the other three, and then I'm going to be using these two to cut out a hole. I'm not sure which one I need to use just yet. So it's probably the biggest one. I think that will be probably it. So that's going to be the next stage, cutting the holes out. So I've just uh, done this by hand without a hammer and put the holes in and I've checked it on the side of the van um, I was thinking about gluing these to the actual panel but it's not really going to be a very good idea because you can actually stretch these to to fit the holes so the holes are slightly out but uh, you can actually stretch the, the rubber so I think uh, I'll use these holes on here to do the others and then I can stretch it and it will fit. So I've put one of the rubber straps in uh, situ and uh, at the moment I'm sort of debating whether to glue it or not. So I just um, put these um, temporarily into place and not bolted or anything just to hold the rubber onto the onto the bodywork. Um, yeah so that's just tacked into place and I was just think considering super gluing it onto the onto the wing 
Um, the other thing I've got to do is uh, I've got to, to, to remove the whole thing and behind um, you've got the, the glue that held the, the front panel on in the first place. It's not very practical to keep taking this on and off so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut away the glue around the hole on the inside here um, because I think that um, it's hindering being able to attach the thing um, trying to put the bolts through into the well it's this panel here actually so into this panel here uh, is a paint and uh, I think it'll be a lot easier without any glue in the way so you can actually see where you're putting the bolt so I think uh, yeah probably the next thing is going to be gluing it I think but I don't know because moving moving this thing here it's yeah problem is is that if I don't glue it I'm going to be parked somewhere and somebody can just like pull on it and, and rip it off uh, which wouldn't be ideal so yeah I think I'm going to I'm going to have a go at gluing it down so that appears to be fairly painless I just put a spot of glue there and it's it's stuck fast but there's a bit of a gap here so hopefully that will that won't be a problem so I think I'll just just crack on with gluing bits of it and I'll just hold it like that and it will come out just a bit round near the edge and hold it in place and hopefully it will stay Dropping that on the floor doesn't really help. So it's, yeah, it's gluing quite well. So I think it's a case of doing that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut round here before I glue it so that I can get this bolt out easily. But I don't think it will hurt if I glue the rest up here. Of course there's a, a dimple of varnish there that's uh, annoying and now we've got water in the super glue difficult to tell which is which really because it's very runny I think what I'll do is I'll just glue it temporarily in, in place in, in, in places where it's not going to move about too much so I've done the bottom bit and then you've got this bit next to the, the bolt and up here we've got this bit sticking out here so I think that uh, that will do for now and I've got the other side to do to glue as well but it, it's not actually bad I was expecting the super glue not to, to glue so instantly but it is super glue that's why it's called that and uh, yeah, I think that will do. So I'll do the other side. I'm not going to film that because it'll be a bit long to have the same thing again. But in between, I need to remove the panel so I can move the van somewhere for a, a task that I need to do, which I might video as well. So I'll leave it at that today and uh, we'll come back and get on with the rest. So I've uh, glued the this down I've taken the bolts off now because I need to take the front off and, um, later on and uh, done the other side as well so the other side is uh, stuck quite well there we go it's not very even but uh, I think I'll probably put a bit of black paint uh, around here to, to hide that but uh, the other problem has been um, attaching it from the other side before I was using these these bodywork uh, clips but it seems that because I need to use a thinner bolt I don't know why because I was using a thicker bolt before but uh, they won't fit so I think it's probably because I put glue around the holes and uh, it's made them a little bit too small but I'd rather not force the plastic by putting it through that because it will probably uh, split and break so we'll go with um, the thin one here and then possibly if I can find them uh, I must have taken them out 
they're all mixed up in here so I can't find anything but there's like a little top out um, um, attachment so after hunting about I've found them they're in my handy little box that fits into the, the dashboard so it's like a I call it a top out because it looks like a top out so I was using them to actually attach the panel here um, so like putting it there like that but um, I don't know how many of these I've got I hope I've got uh, enough uh, I have to see if I can find some or find an alternative thing so the next job will be scraping off the glue on the other side of the panel on this panel here I'm just scraping away and getting rid of this stuff and you can see it's really it's really strong stuff um, that's just a little bit of it and I've got all that to take off you see the bits everywhere um, you yeah, know I suppose it does its job but if I, was, if I want to take it off for any reason it's a way to take a panel off and then change it then you've got to remove all of this glue so I'll just pop the, the bolts on for now, there's nothing holding them in. Uh, so that's going to be inside of the, the panel. I'm trying to glue the rubber so it follows the line here. So I think that's uh, job done. It's not moving anywhere. It's stuck down quite well. But on this side I made the right mess of it. So um, it's too short here. I'll have to be, add a bit of rubber or something um, but uh, otherwise it's okay and I've actually ran out of super glue so there's none left so it's just enough to do the job so I think we'll call it a day there um, I think I'll call it a day for the video as well because um, all the next things I need to do is to just finish in touches and uh, sort out uh, what I'm going to attach the bolts with um, and also I've got issues with this uh, DJI Osmo camera at the moment uh, it appears that um, I don't know I must have the wrong SD card in it because it, it basically has troubles writing to it which means that I can be filming something and it suddenly decides to stop so that's not ideal um, so yeah good time to bring the, the video to a close so thanks so much for being patient and watching take care of yourselves see you in the video take care bye quand je reviens dans mon Nelson, au fond de moi, mon cœur résonne.